later, or is it just for a little bit? It's all for them, and again, they can drink tonight, no problem. I just don't want anyone to get heavy drinking so until the night. Up. You guys want to? If you find a place, he's going to be really good. No, no, no. Just, 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 just don't worry. Just, just do your, look at your thing. Look at your thing you're looking at. All right, good. All right, now, all right. So, okay, I'm going to start with you guys. Uh, over there. Okay, so we get a shot of him. All right, Jen. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now listen. Uh, whenever they fight, you're trying to mediate. But this is, a, a, I'm not going to tell you guys what to do. I want simmering. I want suspense. I want this fight to be a build-up. You know, I, if we're going to have action, I want it to be a whirl of words. I want it to be looks. I'll get the looks second, but let's start with an oral. Let's have an oral So when they start fighting... Um, yeah, but they're not going to fight now. You're just going to get involved to try to sit maybe between them when they start getting more agitated. Okay, ready? And action. Shh. Okay, cool. Fuck the girls, invited you here. You're an asshole mm -hmm. who's been left back for fucking two years in a row and you've been a super senior for how long now? You really want me to fuck you up, man? Look, all I'm saying is you dicked me for God knows how many years for good reason. I'm just giving you a little back. Dicked you? What did I ever do to you? I don't even know you, dude. You, you, just, you talk about me, though, like you do. You talk about me like you know me. I don't talk about you. tried to shake my hand when we came here. Like, I should have just smacked him right there. No, I can't. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Fuck this shit. I'm gonna go handle it right now. Yeah, try to stop him right there. I have a little thing on the, on the on the chair where he's like holding you back a little bit. Turn that 
light a little bit towards the stairs, a little bit to the stairs. Now, do a thing right there. It's okay. You're fine. Jay, uh, Jay you're fine. Go to the stairs. Try to hold him up, but he's going to get right by you. Just go up to there. Who's driving him? Um, All right, cool. You go up there. Go up there. No, I like that. Go where you were. All right, just try to stop him. Go up there. He's going to go up. No, no, no. Let him get up there first. Like, you try to block him, but he, you give him a minute of talk and then be like, get out of my way. And you go past him. Let him try to be peacemaker, man, and you just tolerate it. And you're like, get the fuck out. Well, All right, go. You go up. Just, just start from here. We're going to take it from the middle of it. Go. You back up to there. Yeah. You can't go. Calm down. Yo, I like you. Don't smile. Don't smile. I don't like you. Don't fucking touch me again. Calm, calm down. Dude, you can't dude, go. Get the fuck. You, you're turning the fucking light off? Get the fuck out of my way. Sorry, try that again. That was good. Turn the light off because it's buzzing anyway. Go. Ready? Go. No, qu- no smiles. No smile. Go. Ready? Go. Calm down. You're like smiling, dude. Stop. Stop smiling. You're going to hit you. You're doing great. He's smiling. No smiling. Go. Get the fuck out of my way. No. Yo, you don't even know this fucking thing. It, it is a matter. What do you mean it doesn't matter? It is a matter. Dude, get the fuck out of my way. Uh, Evan, turn, 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 turn your body over towards me. That's good like that. So I can see your face. Good. Yo, you don't even know this kid. Why the fuck do you even care? Get the fuck out of my way. Christ. I like you. I don't want to hurt you. If you don't get out of my way right now, I'm going to fucking throw you up the steps. You, you know Have you ever been that. thrown up steps? It yeah. can happen. It, it could happen, but thrown, it's not going to happen right now. People get thrown downstairs. It, it, it can't. You, can, you go downstairs. You can get thrown upstairs. You can't go upstairs. And then you'll come back down. No, and I'll still you go, fucking you go down. You can't go down. Go. You have two options. Get out of my way. But you have two options upstairs. right now. You, you can sit down. Touch me. You, you can sit down. Stop smiling and say, be an adult. Stop being like a kid. That's it. Then that ends it. That's it. One last line. Just like, st- like, dude, we're graduating. Be an adult. Grow up. And he's like, dude, he's like, grow up. He's like, dude, you're the one that has- needs to grow up. This is fucking, that guy just, I'm going to take care of business. Go. Yo, what the fuck? Get out of my way, man. I'm going to fucking, why? Why not? Are you a man right now? Okay. You about to leave school right now. You can't, you can't act like this. can't fight for no reason. Yeah, I can't. Disrespect. That's a reason. Disrespect is nothing. Disrespect. Get, 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 get the fuck out of my no. way, dude. Good. Very good. Mom? Hi, what's up? Uh, I'm so stressed out. Well, um... Listen. I oh, know. The thing is. Okay. Alright. Hi, Disney. How are you, Bella? I love you. Can I talk to uh, mommy, please? Okay. Give me a kiss. Mwah. I love you, Bella. Is mommy? Can I speak to mommy, please? Mommy. <sighs> okay. So, anyways, it's like um, I have this opportunity to go to Europe for, um, you know, to Europe to become a rock star, and like um, I don't know if I'm making the right choice or not because if I go there. Um, I might lose, yeah, like someone who, who plays in a band and, you know, they have a guitar and stuff like that, so I've been learning, yeah, like for someone who plays a guitar, you know, like Kiss, Mom? talked in a long time and you're my best friend and um, you know I'm sorry that I haven't been there as much as I wanted to um, because I love you very much we've known each other since high school well you know moving away and 
finding myself, music, and you know all this. It's uh, it's been crazy, and I want you to know that I'm lost, and um, and I miss you, and I, I really. I really don't know if I'm making the right choices in my life right now. Um, I feel like I'm on a crossroad where if I go to Europe, um, you know, I won't see any of the people that I honestly love. Um, I'm scared. I'm lonely. I need help. Um, I, don't, I don't think I can survive the pressure of all these expectations that uh, the people here at school have of me. Um, everyone thinks that, oh, he's changed and he's this rock star and yada 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 and so on, but in the midst of it, man, um, I wish I had their, their life, you know? I wish that, I wish that I could say, oh, what is tomorrow going to be for me? Um, oh, I could, I got into this program and I'm going to start a new journey. Um, I feel stale. I feel like I've done it all. And, you know, the next thing for me could just be down. Like, and that's scary. You know? No one gets it here. All they see me, they see a celebrity. They don't even see me as a real person anymore. They think that, you know, I'm Drew Harris, and um, yeah, yeah, I'm Drew Harris, but I'm Drew Harris, that same chubby kid. <laughs> Anyways, um, you know, I just thought that I should tell this to you because you know me best. Mom was busy with the girls, so I tried calling her, I don't know why. Um, when you get this message, and if you should decide to call me back and, you know, forgive me for not being a good friend, um, I know. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to work harder in that department. I'm going to be more punctual in returning your phone calls. Um, I'm going to write more often and I'll, I'll email you, I'll add you as my friend on Facebook. It's all the marketing bullshit, it really wasn't, it had nothing to do with me. Um, okay. Alright, alright man, um, just, you know, give me a ring, alright? Last line, I want you to pause and say, I gotta get the fuck out of here. And then get up and walk. And that's your exit. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Louder, sorry. Try again. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Twins, yeah, that'd be cool. Get some twins. That, that's nice, still having kids. <sighs> How about some dilemmas? Uh, think of some future dilemmas you may have or that are forming that you're like asking advice about. Okay. Yeah, they can be full thoughts or just uh, sound bites, whatever you want. Um. Things that, you know, might be. Might, might be a problem, like anyone's problem in the future or specifically yours. I, I did a big one about my sister. That's good, I that's good, around. you know. Um, you know, will I ever like fuck, like I don't know, I mean like will I ever like, like in a total accident hit a kid on a bike and yeah. fucking like, like literally like, <laughs> yeah, like, like I want to know shit. if I what can live, like why be tragedy free except for, you know, just be like, I, you know, I'm so scared of like, you know, and then you can take questions back, maybe, like, be like, you know, you know I want to, like, I want to know that, and yeah, I mean, it's a mind fuck going through. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's, I think it's really, I think this is a part to get, get kind of manic because it's like, it's like, whoa, you don't want this thing to go away because you want these answers, but really they're probably in your mind. I mean, at least it's what's going to appear to other people. So I, I just think it's, I, I'm, you've been doing great. What I've heard. So but that's the last comment. Just do that, and mm -hmm. we'll see where you go. And you tell me when you're when you think you're done. Yep. Okay, go for it. <laughs> so, 
So I ever like win win like a really big scratch ticket because I play a lot, you know. Oh. <laughs> what are like some issues that we're gonna go through? Like, what do we do? I ever do I ever do I ever like really piss somebody off and they really hate me? Cause that that sucks. I don't want to do that. <laughs> do I ever like is like there's like a freak accident that I'm involved in? Do I ever overdose? Ever? <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> Confused is a really good word. I am. There's a lot of different choices I could have made, and I, I can make, and I don't. God, it's like a lot on my plate. And I can go in like 50 fucking thousand directions, right? And <laughs> that like, that's some scary shit. And I'm, and I'm just really hoping that I make the right one. Or the wrong one, and then the right one. <laughs> just somehow end up there. <laughs> So yeah, I'm a, I'm a little scared. I'm a lot scared. Speaking as you, as your older you, um, you don't look happy. Like you, you don't look like you're happy that you're graduating. <laughs> I'm happy because I think it's a really, it's a really big thing I did. Huge. A lot of people don't do it. But I I wonder like. Did I really need a degree? Do I really need a degree to sit in a cube? If that's what I'm gonna do for marketing? Do I really, did I really need to spend this much money and get this much in debt? See, yeah, that makes me kind of pissed off actually. I'm kind of pissed off that this country says that I need to do that. When I could be successful not having a degree. Maybe I made some wrong choices. Maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I should have dropped out. I don't know. I'm happy that I did the work. I'm unhappy that it costs me four years that I just put in, and it's going to cost me four years plus to pay it back. That's fucked up. I'm unhappy that I'm going to be leaving these people. You know, a lot of them are, are crazy. I like that a lot. We're all kind of all over the place, so it makes you feel f you fit in somewhere. Somewhere and nowhere, and that's cool. And now we're going to be separate, and, and I have to start over again. Again, I have to start over. And that's, that's, that's worrisome. <laughs> that's worrisome. Excellent. Um, she says to you, um, you know, when we were little, do you remember all the things we used to want to be when we grew up? Mm -hmm. And um, like, <laughs> t tomorrow you're, you, you know, you, you, you have the chance to, to, to make a choice that's going to lead to me or something different and uh, be like, you know, so what, what choice are you going to make? And you can say, hey, you know, like, I don't know, but that would be, I think, a good question. Like whether you get to me or not depends on the things you choose. Like what's your next, what's your next, like what's your next move? Like ask her what, what direction I should. I I think it'd be like you know I think her question is going to be like she, I she can't she's like no one can tell you that I can't even me and your future can't tell you that I am but a one choice, I'm a, I'm a collection of choices you've made. Can I say that? that I think that's something that they'll say. But if you want to say like are you a question of mm -hmm. choices that's changeable right. or it's just oh, like I fate it, okay. like I, what is this is this is this me no matter what I do like right. I might as well yeah, kill yeah. myself now if I don't right. like it <laughs> sort of like that that's all alright so I'll go closer and go. so now that I know what I am we are will be <laughs> do I have to worry about anything do I have to do anything really special is this just the way it's gonna be like if I like if I choose not to go to that internship, is this is this gonna change this? Hmm. So if I if I didn't go and I and I just worked at a cafe for a little while, do you think that I would end up in this in this place that you're at? 
This seems pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, the, the idea of like, um, I, I am but one like, I'm one destination in, in a series of choices. You could get to an infinite number of results. <sighs> Do you I'd be like be like? Do you realize the math? Do you understand the math? Mm -hmm. Does it boggle your mind? Like, do you, do you understand the nature of reality? And maybe you're just like, I, I think I, no, I guess I don't like. Yeah. And then like I, you know, so in other words, she's gonna overwhelm you a bit here with like, mm -hmm. be like, you don't have anything, mm -hmm. like, you don't have a clue because uh, no one does, and you really have to start to think about it. And you, you're beginning the biggest gift in the world, this experience, which is 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 real. No one can see me, but guess what? Does it make me not real? And that's it. So go ahead, let's just riff on that and let's see what happens. So So you're saying that I could just I could everything I say is is changing who who you are right now. Everything's affecting me five, ten, twenty thousand years from now. <laughs> what? That's that means that every every choice that I've that I'm making or have made is some it's its own it's its own fucking formula to some to some product and there's like so many different products that I could possibly be are they good they're, is each of them are right I don't want to make the wrong one I don't want to I don't want to put in the wrong variable in there like that's gonna fuck me up you know there's wow that's just like that's nut balls that's wild that's some wild shit because I don't want to if I could actually create, if I could create the perfect formula for, for me in the future, if I can do that now, then I'm like really golden, right? I probably, I mean, we could probably do that. I mean, somehow I've created this formula for you, and and it's it's looking pretty pretty good to me. So, if I can just methodically plan out, well, I guess you probably can't, because there's there's other things that really do affect you, right? They're like outside of your own choices. Yeah. Uh, wow. So I've yeah, got... Yeah, be like, dude, this is freaking... I can't keep like... Yeah, I'm is, smart, but I can't yeah, like... Yeah, this is a lot. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty smart, but this is like... This is pretty heavy. I'm kind of confused, actually. This is, this is a lot. <laughs> hey, let's graduate and then do math again. That's awesome. Uh, wow. Wow! Okay. <laughs> Whew! Well, that, I'm like sweating now. That's crazy. I'm also just really, I'm like worried now, again. Because now I have like even more, I have like options on my options. And then, and then like that's just a tiny little thing that makes this huge life that I'm gonna live. And is it gonna be good or not? Like, that's all up to me? That's like, Wow, that's like really fucked. <laughs> okay. Why, why you're asking the older version? You know, is it is it as hard as it seems? Like kids, marriage, just being an adult. Like, is it is it as bad? Is it you know? And then the, I think the person's gonna say, "Well, it's good and bad. It's, mm -hmm. it's got this, you know." But you know, kind of like enjoy whatever you're in. You know, like mm -hmm. enjoy this period. You know. But I think uh, that's a fair quote. Like, what's it really like having that responsibility? Yeah. Because you lose your freedom a couple of years in your adulthood. Right. Tell you I appreciate it. Cheers. Well, <laughs> great offer from a nonprofit organization in Boston. So oh. I'm looking into it, but hopefully it'll all work out. I don't. I don't know what's gonna become about me, but I just want you guys to know I'm happy. I'm complete with you guys here. As long we as you it. guys stay. <laughs> Do I actually have no idea? Dead. My plan. <laughs> I don't know where I want to go. I don't know where my career is going. I just want to live life and have a good time and have a lot of adventures. And I hope that some of you guys are there to share it with me. So. I do want to say that we, this was a long four years and we went through all these courses and hard professors and extensive 
tests and everything that we did, but we did well. And I just want to say that once I graduate and after everything is done, that our degrees mean nothing because the economy is bad. So, <laughs> therefore... I agree. Therefore, I'm going to go away and, you know, open schools in third world countries and just try to help out. And just, you would. You're not going to do shit. See, Listen, here man. we go again. Uh. And I just want to just open schools in third world countries to help those unfortunate. Although we spent thousands of dollars on a school here, I'm going to give them free schooling and just, you know, just help out the needy. I want to have kids, pretty kids. And, <laughs> yeah, I just want them to be successful like mommy. And then I'm gonna marry Rich. And that's mine. You guys are my bros, my my sisters. I just wanna say thank you to everybody that's here. I wanna say thank you to Brittany for letting me take all of her notes in class. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but <laughs> No, Brittany, you're a good girl. <laughs> for letting me take all of your notes. When I was partying with well, my yeah, boy, when I was partying with my brother Wayne, we was keeping it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna, I'm, you know, I'm not softening up or anything. Like <laughs> but you guys have helped me a long way, coming from, you know, yeah, I heard. no sisters, no brothers. Oh, you guys okay. definitely look out for me, and I wanna. So you guys will definitely know what's going on. That's good. Good, good luck. 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 Fucked up right now. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers to that. <laughs> Cheers. Wow. Cheers. I might get a little emotional right now. Just don't look at me the, the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? Don't blow kisses at me. Sorry. Um, I want to say cheers to everybody. Everybody here right now. Four years. All you annoying fucking people. <laughs> um, so nice. We got fucked up. Bar fights. Getting chased by cops. I love you. Getting chased by old ladies in wheelchairs. <laughs> <laughs> um, fuck. It was cool though. It was. It was a great experience. Nothing like this. It's like just tops it off. Nothing I regret these four years. You know, I'm a Staten Island boy. I say use. You guys wanna make fun of me? You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are doing what you guys can do. But um, I'm gonna it's miss. Cool. I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss you all and. Good luck to everybody. Hope you all do good. And cheers. 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 Where are you heading next? Cheers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna travel the world and um find yourself and get every disease from A to Z. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and just get fucked up, you know. And then, come on, guys. Come on, man. And then my plans are to find plans. Right. Yeah. 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 Finding plans. <laughs> Finding plans. <laughs> The following audiovisual exhibits are pertaining to a special investigation by the FBI and according to Scotland Yard, any information regarding these events should be um, directed towards the New York Field Office of the FBI, Special Agent John Field. Yes, this is uh, Neil Van Orton, Ellen Scott's here reporting for the BBC. Um, it turns out that um, early preliminary reports have 18 um, recently graduated students from Chongsu University found at the uh, site of a graduation party the uh, morning uh, after uh, apparently a, the revelry began uh, the 18 bodies were, far, were found um, extremely in an extremely uh, uh, degraded state uh, beyond recognition burned beyond recognition uh, this inferno lasted um, approximately three and a half hours before firefighters had it under control it was a six alarm fire and um, apparently one of the facilities survivors of the grad party, um, Inferno as it's being called, um, it was, survived the fire only to have lost his life um, concurrently by um, suicide leaping off of a Manhattan skyscraper in the early morning hours following um, the soiree. Uh, a memorial for the 18 families of the grad party, uh, so, uh, of, the, of those lost in the grad party, uh, Inferno has been held. Um, tonight, NBC premiered the um, first episode of the series, Grad Party, which is um, an edited version of the nine hours of footage which was acquired during the party. And um, recent um, web trends have released uh, the statistics that today on Google, uh, Grad Party was the top Google search in all worldwide searches. 
Uh, a bit of a twist today in the um, ongoing saga of the grad party. Uh, it turns out the dental records of some of the dead individuals have um, not correlated to their dental records. Uh, and so to now what this means, uh, a breaking development in the ongoing um, uh, de- grad party uh, situation. It turns out the dental records were tampered with. Uh, this was the admission of a doctor that was recently um, uh, charged on an unrelated drug charge. Um, the grad party... this small online university called Chomsky University. Uh, on day nine was the graduation party held in the Westchester County of New York State, uh, about 20 minutes outside the city of Manhattan, or the Bell of Manhattan, rather. Um, the day after the party, or the morning of, a six alarm fire erupted, and um, it was uh, it took approximately uh, three and a half hours to put out the, uh, the raging inferno. Um, on day 33, the, uh, uh, FedEx was sent to uh, the Creative Artists Agency, a Hollywood uh, agency, which was sent footage um, from an anonymous source, apparently, uh, which revealed uh, footage of the last hours of the graduates. On June 3rd, 2012, uh, the United Arts Department was following some footage from the exhibit now to the... Um, uh, his name is Bobby. Um, uh, on record here, it seems to be uh, Bobby Robert uh, Bobby Lee of the Creators uh, uh, Arts Agency, who apparently has um, licensed the footage to Comcast, NBC Universal um, for broadcast. Um, MSNBC is reporting that one of the victims' father is a South Carolina senator, and he uh, has personally um, asked the uh, FBI to investigate this. It's un- certain whether uh, arson is at play, although the Westchester Fire Chief has ruled, in fact, that arson is suspected. Uh, but it turns out that the father of one of the victims, a South Carolina senator, an incumbent of three, three terms, um, is um, ordering an investigation. Um, it's uncertain if it's been a suicide pact, a homicide, or a suicide. Uh, the mas- national media here in the United States has actually picked up the story um, a couple of days after the New York press has covered it extensively. Um, and the funerals today were held on the 7th of June, uh, and, a, and a memorial service for all the victims was held, uh, where the president of the university, uh, Abraham Chomsky, the brother of the English Noam Chomsky, spoke uh, to the families uh, of the victims, as well as the few survivors. July 13, 2012, uh, apparently um, the FBI commenced an investigation of the uh, events surrounding the China um, uh, have focused their efforts on um, locating the host who had rented the party. Uh, on the 17th of August, uh, the filmmaker was identified and interrogated by the FBI who had sent the package to the uh, Creative Origins Agency. It's unknown and uncertain um, the motive or the uh, causation of the footage acquisition. Um, 29th of July, uh, apparently there was an auction held by uh, Creative Origin Agency for the video rights, the licensing for the national syndication and uh, for the distribution of uh, the admittedly uh, macabre uh, footage of their last hours alive of these uh, young graduates who have died only a few hours after the footage was filmed. Uh, apparently, NBC, uh, CNN has reported that NBC is giving all profits um, from the or proceeds from the advertising exhibition of the Brad Party series to the families of victims of the trust fund establishment for the families of the victims of the God in that phase. The media frenzy really began um, sometime about two weeks after the, uh, the initial uh, uh, funerals. Uh, new footage has been sent and apparently in a breaking story to the um, Washington DC FBI field office um, that uh, sheds new light on the origin of the footage sent to the uh, Creative Origin Agency uh, uh, two months earlier. Uh, on the 21st of August, the TV series trailer was released by NBC, which reveals the, uh, some of the uh, scenes of the series. And the truth is here today, um, inadvertently, uh, intentionally, we are not sure. It, it is very preliminary, but apparently the shit has hit the flat screen, so to speak. Um, because as is, at this moment right now, um, both CAA and Comcast, NBC Universal are in damage control. Um, this is an FBI notice, an intention from Scotland Yard and the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Okay. All right. Um, hey, tell tell that.
What? No, no, no. I, I'm going to be done this, and I have to bring their phone up, and I'll bring the dog up, too. Okay. okay just, you just go to bed if you want. I mean, whatever you want to do. All right. All right. Um, uh, all right. Uh, okay. Uh, Talladega. Talladega. Okay, I need you to okay, t- take a pen and pencil, all right, and, and do the following things for me, okay? Mr. Brown's going to be calling me all morning, all right? I want you to put him off. I want you to tell him that my, 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 my grandma and my dad, my mother died, my cousins, tell him the whole, the whole family is dead. Just give him whatever excuse. I'm at the hospital. The fact is, is that I just I can't talk to him right now. Now, I need you to go do some work and get that detective, that private eye fellow, because I need you to do some research, and we have to figure out from where those FedExes came. Okay, we got we to gotta track down that boy who sent me that email saying that he was the filmmaker. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, I need to get a meeting with him today because when I talk to Mr. Brian and he's going to be pissed off to high hell, I got to fix this and I got to speak to him right away. Do you understand that? Okay, now if you understand that, you understand the severity of this situation, anyone that calls, you disavow all knowledge. We are not commenting except to say that we had no knowledge of any impropriety associated with this production at all. We thought it was honest to God off of truth. It was the straight scoop. That was the real lives. They had actually perished in those fires. That this was not some publicity marketing crazy ass Blair Witch kind of stunt. Hell, I ain't that sophisticated. It was all just happenstance and hood wiggling and hood winking and the bull over my eyes and all that other shit. So just whatever you have to say, just we didn't do it. You know, that's all I can say to these people. We, we had no knowledge of this. And that's the damn truth. We, you know that because you've been, how long have you been with me now? What? Now, you've been with me, what, seven months? And so, you've been with me since that you, in fact, it was two weeks you've been working here that those packages started coming in here. Remember that? Well, we didn't even look at them until the FBI boss got involved. And then when we did look at them, well, we saw the footage and we saw, and then that went and sold to Comcast. And next thing you know, the, the damn numbers went off through the roof. And apparently, this is what happened. Apparently, this is what happened. It turns out that one of those, uh, one of the one of the kids that died, uh, this is a daddy who was, was a very powerful man, he was a South Carolina senator actually, and he uh, he got those FBI boys involved, and they did the tracking down and talking to everyone. They found out that now a couple people actually left the party that were, wasn't wasn't aware that they'd actually put too many bodies, too many. Well, it turns out what they did was they took cadavers and they put them in there. They were the same age and, and racial composition. They put damn clothes on them and the whole nine yards. And then they saw that fire. They actually watched the damn fire from the cover of the woods. But suffice it to say that the whole thing was a scam, sham, flim flam to the man. And I don't know why they did it except made me sell some advertising on a television show because I, I certainly know how to tell I can sell a TV show. So I, I sold Snooky for MTV. I, you don't need no trick or, or device or gimmick, but I guess these boys and girls did. They thought they did. So anyway, it ain't no here nor there. But at this time, what we need to do is I need to speak with that filmmaker right away because it looks like what I found out was these boys and girls are all alive and they're in some island sitting there drinking pina coladas and enjoying the sun. Um, and laughing all the way to the bank in the Cayman Islands, I guess, because it turns out not only are they getting the money from this TV show deal that I cut for them unknowingly, thinking that I was cutting it for the blind trust established for the families that were remaining, it turns out that they were controlling it the whole time. And all even that, even the charities were false. Everything was bullshit. Yeah, basically, I mean, I got my 10%, so, I mean, I was compensated, but the fact is that... <laughs> Those millions and millions of dollars were flowing down to the south in one of these little virgin islands where they were all sitting there in a house together where it turns out from my sauce that they had filmed all of that as well. So while it is a bit of a pickle we find ourselves in, if I do work the angles right, I do think that I can get a second season from NBC Universal Comcast, yeah. So uh, apparently they filmed everything that went down in those islands. And it was one of them, uh, one of them girls that, uh, one of those, uh, the girl that, that did, well, she wasn't getting along with anybody uh, during the, the actual party. And um, you see, the way this whole thing went down is, um, besides the heat I was getting from the FBI, because they thought I was behind the whole damn thing. Of course, I had nothing to do with it. All I did was got the footage, and I looked at it, and then I tried to sell it to Comcast, and we made a deal. And that was a sell. I mean, I, I, I think I watched four minutes of that damn footage. I watched that trailer that 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 they put together and then, and then I sold the damn thing to, to, to Robert Bryan and that was it. I mean, literally, we went duck hunting and I sold them while we were duck hunting. <sighs> Turns out that right after the whole thing blew up and, you know, it was getting really big in Europe and was getting ready for this uh, American debut, well, there was something leaked to the uh, press. It was a piece of footage, like an out, an outtake. And 
and and and it was all these these kids at the party, and they were all talking different. And then at the end of this footage, they actually are talking about the word movie comes up, like they're actors or something. They actually talk about making a movie. So so you put that next to all this footage, and you realize that. These kids aren't graduating from no college. These kids are actors, professional actors. That's why I was so damn convincing. <laughs> you got some talent, I'll, t I'll admit, but, you know, I guess they don't realize it's a felony to take it this far. I mean, fiction is one thing, and artistic license is another, but this that's in artistic license, uh, they were speeding and they were going 200 miles per hour and then going into jail. I, 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 I know about law, but maybe it's illegal, damn it, I don't even know. They got this paranormal activity, most of the most powerful little film ever made, and you know, they want you to think it's real, and you know, this whole reality is fit. I, look, I ain't in it for that, I'm in it for the 10%, and I just got one thing to say. There's a one silver lining to all of all this, is I get a hold of that filmmaker, and I get him to sign for these next seasons. I get the season of them down and all the fractured relationships and strained reliances and survivor-like uh, uh, coincidences and all these uh, things and dramas and conflicts that I'm sure that occurred with some probably very uh, favorable lighting conditions in the uh, southern hemisphere where they, I believe they're located right now. So we got a hold of that. And we also have an option for that third season, which I think would follow the trials, because obviously there's a mastermind. We just have to identify who the mastermind is. Well, obviously, one of the the, the 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 people that are involved. I mean, one of those actors must have been the director producer, if you will. But I do think I do have a line on the man who I don't think was in the party, who actually controlled the cameras remotely from uh, some type of studio, and then did the editing, and he was the one that was sending them to me. I guess he knew I'd buy it. And he knew about my relationship with you. He knew we both came from the same parish in Louisiana, the whole damn thing. So I think these were set up, the whole thing, the whole, the whole nine yards. And look, I got, I got, I got moving boxes surrounded me because I, I'm, you know, I, I'm out of this town. I made enough money off this deal. I can go retire and just sit on the bayou and eat my crawfish. And I'm happy doing that. And I got my hounds and I'll be fine. But I got to set this right. And the way I set it right is this. I find that filmmaker. I find out what the hell he's doing, what he was thinking. And when I find that filmmaker and find out what the hell he was thinking, I find out if they were really trying to do something wrong here or if it just was something that just got out of control. I don't know yet, but all I know is, and I guess they don't really, really understand the lives and the business and the bottom line that they're going to affect. They also may not realize the millions and millions of dollars we're going to make from all this. But again, there may be some moral and legal issues that uh, we may have to deal with that supersede the uh, profitability uh, uh, perspective. So uh, to summarize, we need to get a hold of that filmmaker. Uh, we need to control the press on this and to explain to them that we had no knowledge of this being fictional. We thought that these uh, young boys and girls were dead. And, and in fact, uh, that the whole effort we made to encapsulate the footage of the last party, the, the, the last hours of their young lives, was to give it a, a poetic justice, to try to find in a tragedy some source of, uh, of, of happiness, uh, and also for the surviving families who would be deprived of a youngster who would have been uh, depleting the family of uh, part of their income, because inevitably 80% uh, of these graduates return home without a job and go back to their room that they've occupied since they were two years old. Uh, we will be saved them that expense and supplemented that with the income derived from the rights exposure and exploitation from the monetization of the amortization from the terrestrialization of the anti. Oh, dismiss. I ran out of battery. Okay. All right. Um, hey, tell tell that. To, what? No, no, no. I, I'm going to be done this, and I have to bring their phone up, and I'll bring the dog up too. Oh, okay. Okay. Just you just go to bed if you want. I mean, whatever you want to do. All right. All right. Um, uh, all right uh, okay. Uh, Talladega, Talladega. Okay, I need you to okay, t take a pen and pencil. All right, and, and do the following things for me. Okay. Mr. Brown's going to be calling me all morning, all right? I want you to put him off. I want you to tell him that my, 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 my grandma and my dad, my mother died, my cousins, tell him the whole, the whole family is dead. Just give him whatever excuse. I'm at the hospital. The fact is, is that I just I can't talk to him right now. Now, I need you to go do some work and get that detective, that private eye fellow, because I need you to do some research, and we have to figure out from where those FedExes came. Okay, we got, we got to track down that boy who sent me that email saying that he was the filmmaker. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, I need to get a meeting with him today because when I talk to Mr. Brian and he's going to be pissed off to high hell, I got to fix this and I got to speak to him right away. You understand that? 
Okay? Now, if you understand that, you understand the severity of this situation, anyone that calls, you disavow all knowledge. We are not commenting. Except to say that we had no knowledge of any impropriety associated with this production at all. We thought it was honest to God, awful truth. It was the straight scoop. That was the real lives. They had actually perished in those fires. That this was not some publicity, marketing, crazy ass, Blair Witch kind of stunt. Hell, I ain't that sophisticated. It was all just happenstance and hood wiggling and hood winking and the bull over my eyes and all that other shit. So just whatever you have to say, just we didn't do it. You know, that's all I can say to these people. We, we had no knowledge of this. And that's the damn truth. We, you know that because you've been, how long have you been with me now? What? Now, you've been with me, what, seven months? And so you've been with me since that you, in fact, it was two weeks you've been working here that those packages started coming in here. Remember that? Well, we didn't even look at them until the FBI boss got involved. And then when we did look at them, well, we saw all that footage and we saw, and then that went and sold to Comcast. And next thing you know, the, the damn numbers went out through the roof. And apparently, this is what happened. Apparently, this is what happened. It turns out that one of those, uh, one of the one of the kids that died, uh, this is a daddy who was, was a very powerful man. He was a South Carolina senator, actually. And he uh, he got his FBI boys involved, and they did the tracking down and talking to everyone. They found out that now a couple people actually left the party that were, wasn't wasn't aware that they'd actually put too many bodies, too many. Well, it turns out what they did was they took cadavers and they put them in there. They were the same age and, and racial composition. They put damn clothes on them and the whole nine yards. And then they saw that fire. They actually watched the damn fire from the cover of the woods. But suffice it to say that the whole thing was a scam, sham, flim flam to the man. And I don't know why they did it except made me sell some advertising on a television show because I, I certainly know how to tell I can sell a TV show. So I, I sold Snooky for MTV. I, you don't need no trick or, or device or gimmick, but I guess these boys and girls did. They thought they did. So anyway, it ain't no here nor there. But at this time, what we need to do is I need to speak with that filmmaker right away because it looks like what I found out was these boys and girls are all alive and they're in some island sitting there drinking pina coladas and enjoying the sun. Um, and laughing all the way to the bank in the Cayman Islands, I guess, because it turns out that not only are they getting the money from this TV show deal that I cut for them unknowingly, thinking that I was cutting it for the blind trust established for the families that were remaining, it turns out that they were controlling it the whole time. And all even that, even the charities were false. Everything was bullshit. Yeah, basically, I mean, I got my 10%, so, I mean, I was compensated, but the fact is that... <laughs> Those millions and millions of dollars were flowing down to the south in one of these little Virgin Islands where they were all sitting there in a house together where it turns out from my sauce that they had filmed all of that as well. So while it is a bit of a pickle we find ourselves in, if I do work the angles right, I do think that I can get a second season from NBC Universal Comcast, yeah. So uh, apparently they filmed everything that went down in those islands. And it was one of them, uh, one of them girls that, uh, one of those, uh, the girl that, that did, well, she wasn't getting along with anybody uh, during the, the actual party. And um, you see, the way this whole thing went down is, um, besides the heat I was getting from the FBI, because they thought I was behind the whole damn thing. Of course, I had nothing to do with it. All I did was got the footage, and I looked at it, and then I tried to sell it to Comcast, and we made a deal. And that was a sell. I mean, I, I, I think I watched four minutes of that damn footage. I watched that trailer that 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 they put together and then, and then I sold the damn thing to, to, to Robert Bryan and that was it. I mean, literally, we went duck hunting and I sold them while we were duck hunting. <sighs> Turns out that right after the whole thing blew up and, you know, it was getting really big in Europe and was getting ready for this uh, American debut, well, there was something leaked to the uh, press. It was a piece of footage, like an, out, an outtake. And, 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 and it was all these, these kids at the party and they were all talking different. And then at the end of this footage, they actually are talking about the word movie comes up, like they're actors or something. They actually talk about making a movie. So, so you put that next to all this footage, and you realize that these kids aren't graduating from no college. These kids are actors, professional actors. That's why I was so damn convincing. <laughs> they got some talent, I'll, tell, I'll admit, but, you know, I guess they don't realize it's a felony to... Take it this far. I mean, fiction is one thing, and artistic license is another. But this that's in artistic license, they were speeding and they were going 200 miles per hour, and then going into jail. I, 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 I know about law, but maybe it's illegal. Damn, I don't even know. They got this paranormal activity, most of the most powerful little film ever made, and you know they want you to think it's real, and you know, this whole reality is fake. Look, I ain't in it for that. I'm in it for the 10%. I just got one thing to say. 
there's a one silver lining to all of all this is I get a hold of that filmmaker and I get him to sign for these next seasons. I get the season of them down and all the fractured relationships and strained reliances and survivor like uh, uh, coincidences and all these uh, things and dramas and conflicts that I'm sure that occurred with some probably very uh, favorable lighting conditions in the uh, southern hemisphere where they, I believe they're located right now. So we got a hold of that. And we also have an option for that third season, which I think would follow the trials, because obviously there's a mastermind. We just have to identify who the mastermind is. Well, obviously, one of the the, the 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 people that are involved. I mean, one of those actors must have been the director producer, if you will. But I do think I do have a line on the man who I don't think was in the party, who actually controlled the cameras remotely from uh, some type of studio, and then did the editing, and he was the one that was sending them to me. I guess he knew I'd buy it. And he knew about my relationship with you. He knew we both came from the same parish in Louisiana, the whole damn thing. So I think these were set up, the whole thing, the whole, the whole nine yards. And look, I got, I got, I got moving boxes surrounded me because I, I'm, you know, I, I'm out of this town. I made enough money off this deal. I can go retire and just on the bayou and eat my crawfish. And I'm happy doing that. And I got my hounds and I'll be fine. But I got to set this right. And the way I set it right is this. I find that filmmaker. I find out what the hell he's doing, what he was thinking. And when I find that filmmaker and find out what the hell he was thinking, I find out if they were really trying to do something wrong here or if it just was something that just got out of control. I don't know yet, but all I know is, and I guess they don't really, really understand the lives and the business and the bottom line that they're going to affect. They also may not realize the millions and millions of dollars we're going to make from all this. But again, there may be some moral and legal issues that uh, we may have to deal with that supersede the uh, profitability uh, uh, perspective. So uh, to summarize, we need to get a hold of that filmmaker. Uh, we need to control the press on this and to explain to them that we had no knowledge of this being fictional. We thought that these uh, young boys and girls were dead. And, and in fact, uh, that the whole effort we made to encapsulate the footage of the last party, the, the, the last hours of their young lives, was to give it a, a poetic justice, to try to find in a tragedy some source of, uh, of, of happiness, uh, and also for the surviving families who would be deprived of a youngster who would have been uh, depleting the family of uh, part of their income, because inevitably 80% uh, of these graduates return home without a job and go back to their room that they've occupied since they were two years old, uh, we will be saved them that expense and supplemented that with the income derived from the rights exposure and exploitation from the monetization of the amortization from the terrestrialization of the anti. Oh, dismiss. I ran out of battery. Yeah, or, or, or if you can do both, whatever. You know, you, you know, you know what, why, why I'm pissed? I have no bond with, with nobody at, at, at that party. I wanted to share that joy and to have stories, meaningful stories. There is no bond. Thank you, God. For answering my prayers. Yes, I prayed for this. I wanted to be at the fucking top so bad. But I'm at the top. I've reached the top. Yes, I'm at the top. But I didn't want to lose my friends. I didn't want to lose her. It's lonely here. I'm, I'm sad. I miss it, God. I missed out. If I can just go back in time, and if I could, if I could just do it all over again, and to be with my friends, and to, to, to feel what they felt, nobody, no, no one knows me anymore. They don't know me. All those years I've missed out in college, just chasing this dream. What? But I'm lonely. And now I'm here. I don't know where else to go. God. 
forgive me. And action. She's crying. Hey, or look at least like your shoulders are moving and they're crying. I'm so sorry. I don't know what to say. Yeah. You know, it was all of a sudden I just... You can turn around now. Too... You were talking about meeting my parents like an hour ago. Like what? It's just a combination of things. I... I had way too much to drink. She, so, she, she came after me. I, I was thrown off guard. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to handle the situation. Turn around, Jay. I can't. I can't even look at you anymore. What? I can't even. I'm sorry. Come on. We've had four years. This is one slip up. It's. It's just. I think I had something earlier. There was something in my drink. Is. There's. I'm so sorry. I just... I, are you serious? There's something in your drink. Babe, come on. We, four years. This is one one hour. I... One hour ago, you were sitting there telling me about how, what we're doing, like, next year, and meeting my parents. <sighs> and then, 20 minutes later. What do you... I don't know what happened. I... I feel awful. You can't even feel any more horrible than I already am. I'm. Jay, say so you arranged this. You had her come here. You had this set up from the beginning. Oh, I did. No, no, you're accusing him. Oh. You're like you, you. I know why she's here. You had it set up. This was all planned. You're going crazy. You can't know what to think. Um. Wait. What was it set up? Her. Yeah, her kind of like all you guys were invited separately. All, not everyone, you guys all, all know each other. You have a couple, couple, couples, couples, couples. It's something I'm handling in the voiceover. But you guys are all not connected. So every, she, they're surprised when they meet. So okay. you're like, you know, you had her, you, did you arrange for her to have her here? Just to make me feel comfortable? Did you arrange to have her here to make me uncomffortable? No, don't say that. Why yeah, do you do that? I mean, that's, how that's the fuck stupid. did that just happen? How did she just I end up have, here? This is the first time this has ever happened. We all got those letters. You how can I believe that? Chats. How can I believe that that's the first time? She did not see. She said that you guys have been seeing each other for a year. Like, she's how can crazy. you? She, obviously, she's all out. She's out of her she head. She said that you guys have been dating for a year. year. We haven't been. Nothing has happened. She's crazy. She said that you were going to dump me tonight. She's full of shit. That's... You know that wouldn't happen. Like, I'm just gonna throw four, four years away like I that? Are you serious? I don't know. I, can believe, I can't believe anything you're telling me. I don't know if I should believe... I've known her since middle school. How can I you just think that all of a sudden out of nowhere she'd be lying years. to me? We've been best friends. We've been going out for four years. We've been together. We've been an uh, item. I can't... I can't do this. I can't do this. Are you ending this? It wasn't going to work from the beginning, it... No, because I'm not Indian. That's what we're getting back to. It's not that. It's not just that. It's everything. I, how can I forgive this now? How can I forgive you doing that? And I'm like me downstairs? Like, do you really have that little respect for me that I'm sitting there downstairs, like, thinking in my head, talking to Naveen about how I'm going to tell my parents about you? And like fighting with my parents all the time so that you can go upstairs and fuck another girl when I'm downstairs. That's not what happened and you know it. This... What do you mean? That's exactly what happened. She came on to me. All we did was make out. We we didn't fuck at all. I, it was, I don't know what the hell happened there. I don't even know what else to say. Thirty seconds to wrap up. I can't. I love you. I love you so much, but I can't. So this is it. All right, whatever for you. Really good. What do you guys want to do? One more or not? Of that type of thing, I loved it. Great breakup. <coughs> Another one or not? You tell me. I don't know what do you think? I, I loved it, but I'm always. I'll do another one for an actor who wants another one. If not, I'll move on. I think that's pretty good.
Yeah, that's one vote. Uh, no peer pressure. What do you want to do? And go. So, Greece. What about it? I, why wasn't I invited? I mean, I have my plans. I'm going with... You were invited. We invited him. Oh, it's just, I mean, draw pull yourself, yourself together. Oh, and sit back. I want to see your face. Because I've seen the side of face. Go. I mean, it's just... You know, it's kind of hurtful. I mean, it's, it's been four years now. And, you know, it, it seems intentional to me. It's not intentional. I had to choose, okay? Choose what? Choose. What... Why did you have to choose? I mean, was it money? Are you poor now? I could have bought my own way. You know that. I mean, look, I, I know, like, you've gone through some hard times, and I know, honestly, your family is struggling financially right now with the, with the recession, but, I mean... Don't give me that bullshit. Well, this don't is, give me that I'm so concerned face. I know you don't give friends. a fuck. You know? Friends? What kind of friend are you? I have been there for You're you not loyal. through everything. You're not loyal to us. When have I ever not been there for you? What about that time in Cabo? Huh? Well, you basically been. left me for dead. You know, you got yourself into that mess. Whatever. Look, it's not my fault she got too drunk. Okay. Look, I don't know what you're going through, but you really Maybe need to pull you yourself together. Maybe you can ask once in a while. Okay. Do you want to know my problem? What's your problem? <laughs> I got into art school, that's my problem. Oh, great. And, and what are you going to do there? Are you going to be an artist? Live your dream? Just because she has a dream, you don't. I'm sure that'll, that'll make your down. parents real proud, you know? Isn't this what we've been talking about? You know, making something of yourself? Oh, making being something. something that, being something that... Being something at all? Do you even feel anything anymore? You have fucking vodka for lunch, tequila for dinner, which is disgusting. You know. Scotch for dessert. I mean, what the fuck do you do with your life, huh? At least I have a fucking passion. At least I have talent, ability. And the fuck do you do all the time, huh? gonna do for you when you are having to pay rent? Oh gosh, I cannot sit back any longer. You're the nonsense, okay? I'm over it. It's been four years of this bullshit, and I'm so tired of it. I mean, come on. Aren't we all supposed to be friends? Ignore that. Go on. You know, Get it together. I've like, been on, a guys. friend. I have been there for her through everything. I'd really appreciate if you didn't talk about And this. her, I... I don't know. I don't even know. You don't know? I don't Are you just fucking you writing me from. off? You don't know where I came from? I mean, you've been in her ear this entire time. You probably in told her, her not to invite you me told to me what? Come on, come on, guys. I mean, come on. You know, like, this listen, is we didn't invite you either. Uh, hello. I've always been here. I've been a friend to you more than anybody in this room. How dare you speak to me that way? I just don't think it's right what happened, okay? You I mean, weren't even supposed to be here. Right now, okay? You weren't supposed to come to this party. Why not? Don't even what show up at this house pretending like you're school. my friend. Ladies, I'm not your friend now. All the bullshit that we've been through together, together, now you want to do this? Okay, just oh, pretend unbelievable. like you didn't. Unbelievable. I can't, I just don't. Idea. First freshman year, she had no friends. No one liked her. You guys were the best friends. Sophomore year, she got real popular, got into the sorority. She wasn't friends with you anymore. You're hurt by it. You resent her for it. Talk. I mean, you were my roommate freshman year. No one even liked you. I did with your bullshit. All the guys you brought to the room. As soon as you became Alpha Psi <laughs> Omega... <laughs> guys I brought to the room? Yeah, all you the mean guys. my boyfriend who you fucking hooked up with? I mean, how many boyfriends do you have in one semester? Come on. Was he really your boyfriend? You, you, have to you talk fucked to her like my that. boyfriend. That's disgusting. I did not. You're do, a do filthy you have animal. Okay. Do you have proof? I'm sorry. We I mean, all know this about is this. just trashy. I mean, I, David, can you ask I don't me, even please? Know you, you have to I, go. I, I don't First of all, know she knows me. She knows me. She was my roommate before she even got with you guys. Me and her were the best of friends. Yeah. And now all of a sudden, since she's in this new sorority, she like, play in she, she's not my friend anymore. <laughs> she's been with me when my mother died, passed away. I cried on her shoulder. I mean, for I'm goodness sure sake. You did. Who are you? Don't bring your mother into this. You know it. That's kind of true. Like I know it. You know it. Without these guys, <laughs> without yeah. me, basically, without me, you wouldn't be anyone. You make it seem like you didn't come to my house, like, trash it. 
Every time you'd come over, my parents would be like, who is that animal? She's so filthy. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Are you serious? Well, do your parents know you about the coke you You treat my parents without any respect. Do they know about the coke you sniff? Yeah, they fucking pay for it, okay? Yeah, okay. And the volumes you pop and don't go to class, they spend so much money on you. For what? Just so you can flunk and, and, and have sex and make out with I'm her? I'm not flunking. I'm over this. You guys, you can have I'm her. talented, okay? I know the real her when she had I'm a, sex. I'm fucking so talented. Sex. You can have I'm her. good at something. Yeah, I know. Blowjobs. What are you good at? Being your what? friend, you know, loser. Can you, can you just let it go? I mean, please. I'm we so glad this shit is over. This is, this is stupid. Where's the fucking money? So, tell me about art school. Hmm? Shut the fuck up, okay? Shut the fuck up. Really? Yeah, let's go. Really? You know... This is how it's gonna end. Yeah, you know what? This is how it's gonna end. Because my parents... Okay, two, wrap it up in three seconds. Okay. My parents aren't gonna pay for it. Oh, so how are you going to pay for it? I don't know. You're gonna get a scholarship. You're gonna take student loans. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, like, people do that. Yeah, poor people do that. I'm not fucking poor. Don't have to be like that. Let's Your mother wouldn't pay for any of your shit. She, I didn't need her to pay for anything. I mean, my mother is dead to me. I, I have nothing to say to her. I don't want to see her again. I mean, since she left my dad, I, she's been trash. I mean, she's sleeping around with everyone. And my mom, too. I, I mean... What? There's no point. What are you doing? Are you... John, would you please sleep with yourself? You're so Seller. embarrassing. So embarrassing. Uh, you were going someplace very interesting. I just didn't want to cut you off like that. I don't know where you were going, but... Alright, uh, because it was really good at the end. You sure you don't know what it was? Because it was good. I can help you. Because you, you were going somewhere and then it just seemed like it stopped. It was like yeah. interesting. I, I didn't. Do you want to do one more thing? Otherwise, I'll go up. Because I love what you got, but I thought you were going somewhere. So I don't want to cut you off. Mm -hmm. You ought to just try if you had something. Yeah. I mean, she left my father. Uh, she's and made an embarrassment out of the family. You make it seem like she didn't leave your father for good reason. But he treated her He fucking like beat her. Queen. We all know that. Everyone knows that. He... That was exaggerated. Those allegations. It wasn't an exaggeration, She baby. drug my family through the mud. We too. saw the welts on her face. Are you kidding me? You know, she fell. And you fell simultaneously down the stairs. Why do you defend yeah. him? Just because he pays for everything? Huh? Because well, he has a fucking he platinum card? You know, don't even give me that and shit. And at least he pays. So I don't have to take student loans. Do you even see... How, when was the last time so you fucking saw your dad? Huh? I'm trying to be something. I'm trying... I'm, for the first time in my life, I feel like I can do something. Like, I have control over who I am or what I'm going to be. And now you're just sitting there telling me that I'm not good enough because my dad can't pay for it. You have no idea how hard the past two years have been. And I know you've gone through your issues, but you've never acknowledged that maybe I had issues as well. You're like you're issues. When is the last time you asked me about my family? What's so hard about your life right now? You are know, you are you upset? Just say it. Tell me what why you're upset. You, you know, just made everyone, it seem like your dad see, was a king. It's just that everyone always thinks that I'm this, you know, little rich boy and I have everything I want and you know, it would just be nice to have a friend, someone that asks me how my family is occasionally instead of meeting at this party after graduation and all of a sudden you act like you care you have no idea and you know what my mother is dying and so yes maybe I have written her out of my life but I had to I I don't know any other way what do you to mean deal she's with it dying you know it, they don't, they don't know. 
they don't know what's wrong with her. They know that she's she's got about three to six months. Well, then why are you why are you writing her out of your life? This is the time that you need to be. Because with your how mom. the hell do you deal with your mother dying? Listen, not just by writing her. You off. can't do that. Well, I understand. She's gonna be I understand gone. that she had no money, and your father picked her up like the little prince he was, and made her something. And you know what? He's paying. I get it. Like I understand. He's paying for all the best doctors. He's trying to help her. You know, but if I know that she's going to be gone in three to six months, then what the fuck is the point of me? Because they're not always right about shit like that. Now. They're and right. if we'd ever asked you, you would have just laughed at us. Your mom loves you. Your mom actually cared about you. Your father doesn't Cared. care about you. Cared. Passed. Yeah, and then you fucking wrote her off. She's your mother. She fucking birthed you. Carried her for nine months. Carried you for nine months. And now you're just gonna pretend that she doesn't exist when she's you dying? She I can't it. believe you didn't tell us this. And she probably deserves this death She's had as such well. a terrible life. She deserves a death like this? Do you know how she treated me? Do you even hear yourself? Do you understand? What did she you do to you? That was so bad. What, she dressed you up in lipstick and high heels? No. She... She never believed Your mom in was me. a good woman. She never believed in me. You're talking about you following your passions and what you wanted. I don't even know what mine are. And that's not your mom's fault. Well, where was fault. she? Why wasn't she there to say, you can do this or you can she do that? She was trying to protect you from your father. Protect me from my father. The person that's paying for her hospital bills. The person that shit. is paying for everything she so buys, lives on, her house, her cars, everything. She After she drug him thing. through, and this family's name through the mud. She has, she has shown no respect to me or my family. She is your family. She was. Just shut up. How about this? Oh, I'm sorry, right? Right? Should me and Invisible Man be like, I'll have a scratch on the rocks, I'll have a blankety blank. I walk up, if someone walks up. I guess I wasn't touching some random boy as a party. I mean, it happens. I don't understand where you get off like this. Where do you get off questioning me? Your father is probably the richest person. I mean, I don't even want to say that, but it's richer than my talk dad. about money, okay? Yeah, but I'm saying, exactly, why are you so classless sometimes? I just... I just... I'm just having fun. It's just, it's just fun. Fun is going to Greece. Fun isn't, like, oh God, touching a random boy's dick. You can touch random boy's dicks in Greece, right? Yeah, it's different. <laughs> it's different, yeah. Chris has some other people now. Do you think, do you, think gonna come you don't have to say a name. You can just be like, you know about him like and her. You can just say that. She looks, she looks pregnant. Like, I she's always looked pregnant. pregnant. She's I mean, a total slut. She probably no, she's pregnant. probably like five months pregnant. pregnant. Yeah. No, you're right. For sure. I wouldn't be surprised if she popped out like two different babies from two different fathers. She's probably already had like five more of You think? Yeah, totally. I heard she did. Code hanger style? Yeah. Oh my god. She couldn't afford anything better. I bet there's a hole in the side of her house. Probably. She's like, so poor. She's like a trash can. Can I pull that her? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm so funny. Why don't you tell me that more often? You are funny, but I I'll tell you, you'll get like an even bigger head than you already have. It'll just explode. It doesn't even matter if I'm funny or not. Yeah. I'm a little bit embarrassed to be here. I know. I was just saying the same thing. We should go see you. Well, I told you one was coming at like two, right? I mean, I don't know. I can call my dad and ask. Just make sure that same guy doesn't follow the same Well, if you weren't. 
grabbing his crotch Look, earlier. Look, he's been following me all night. I already have so perfume, so you should be careful. Tia, I'm going to go. Uh, Becca, go in there. I mean, yeah, perfumes aren't like a big deal. Final thoughts on after this party, I'm going to blankety blank, and that can be literal or very philosophical, and then we'll finish. Yeah. Can't wait till this party's over so I can blank. I can't wait till this party's over. I, just, I don't know. I just feel like staying in touch with these people. I'm fucking getting out of here. I'm leaving. I don't give a fuck. But, I mean... I don't see why you care. All these people are beneath you. I don't care. It's just we've been together for four years. So what's happened? What's happened with any of these people? None of it matters. I mean, I know it doesn't matter, but it, it's just... You're gonna meet new people other places. It would be that nice. have more money and that are cooler. It doesn't matter. It would be nice to know that it's not being thrown away. Why well, I'm throwing it out. You're such a slut. <laughs> Who cares? I'm going to California. What? I'm going to California. Like for vacation? No. To like live. Whatever. I'm going to go to school. We just finished school. What are you talking about? I'm, um... I got into art school. Art school? What the fuck? I only told you because you're my friend. I mean, like, that's... That's cool, but, I mean, like... Are you going to stay here and party with us? I mean, we just went through four years of studying and shit, and... I mean, I thought... I thought you wanted to stay here with us. Listen, my dad doesn't know, so I would really appreciate it if you didn't say anything to me. I can still go to Greece. I'm still going to go to Greece. Greece is going to be so hot. This is going to be so fun. Oh my god, I'm going to fuck some of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we need, though. Do you have herpes? It's when we don't have herpes. Do you have herpes? I don't have herpes, but my you mom does. Your mom has the herpes. <laughs> Your mom birthed you with the herp. She got it afterwards. How is that possible? She's a classy whore. Mm -hmm. Right. She just lives off men for their like little black cards. That's true. But who doesn't? That's right. <laughs> There's a difference between But at least we don't have herpes. <laughs> I know, right? I can't get it from her, so. But, um. That was kind of awkward. <laughs> Do you want to come with me to California? I mean, not that I'm like into him. I mean, what about that. David? He's our best friend. Yeah. So? I mean, he can't like live with us. But he can't leave here. He'll, he can do whatever he wants to do. He is kind of an asshole. I know. Like, where the fuck are our drinks? I know, right? He probably, w he's not loyal. He probably, probably went upstairs. Himself. He's such an alcoholic. No. That's fair.
because everything Nothing. is very, very okay. tight. Um, and and the foot is run out around what was it? I mean, three. We have it clocked around maybe three, 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 three thirty, whatever. So yeah, and the that's... fire happened perhaps two hours after that. So there's a, you know, you got your footage and then people were going to sleep at that point or passing out. You don't have anything that was suspicious. No figures, no people that showed up late, inexplicably, nothing. Yeah. We're gonna they, these kids were gonna be like the next big thing had this had gone according to plan. I mean. For yeah, the most they part, they're getting exposure, but they're not getting the credit, you know, that I think they are, that that is, you know, owed to yeah. them. You know, if had they stayed alive, um, most of them, I guess, they would be reaping the benefits of what's going on right now. That's you know? true. That's true. In fact, that would be the ideal situation for them to enjoy the fruits of this. Um, and, so that's uh, why I said it, because you know what I'm saying. Because I mean, I don't know any, I don't know anybody that would be that would that would that would uh, that wouldn't want to be on camera. You know, even the most mm. shy and ugly people in the world, they want to be on camera. Should we see them on TV all the time? You know, what I'm saying I don't see what the big deal was. There was no problem with them being filmed. People are filmed all the time at parties or wherever it is. You know, and uh, well, they have a right to their never, privacy. They have a right to their own lives. Yeah, but you know, private. when you're at a party, there's nothing that's private. Mm. There is no privacy at parties. Again, I think you may have a couple of civil suits from some some parents that may may may, may contradict that, but right, but we'll, that's not my concern and that's not my jurisdiction. We, we we will end with this. We want to have a follow up interview with you. We want to set up. We until this phone dies on her end, we we are still tracking that down. We don't. We haven't got premiering, which again turns my stomach sick. But what it's a uh, two we, two Thursdays from now. I mean at, at eight or something. And You called me you called me like that to do nothing. I was gonna have you hold it. Okay. And now you're not. Oh God, I'm scared. It's no. Ah! You can do it to me, though. No, no, it's a safe Know my problem. Work an artist. Live your dream. Not sit back any longer. Here. Um, to wash my balls with. <laughs> oh, oh, that, it, it works.
it wasn't supposed to end that way. Leave it or we're not no. doing this at all. Listen, I want to still go over shit, but...